The world was a very different place in 1982. There was no mobile phones, no GPS, no internet. People didn't do trips like that in those days, and it was very unusual. I mean, even for a bloke to ride around the world in those days was pretty unusual, but for a woman to do it, I mean, even for a woman to ride a big bike then was, pre you know, was pretty unusual. I didn't really want to keep on working and keep on waiting till it was the, the perfect time to go, because I thought if you do that, you never leave. So I thought I'll just I'll pack my bike up, take the money I've got, and see how far I get. When I bought my Stroke 6, I just knew it was a BMW, and I knew that they were reliable. At the time, you couldn't get any Tour Tech or Metal Mule, or none of that existed. So I decided to make my own aluminium panniers. And although they didn't look very pretty, they did do the job, and they were very easily repairable as well. I think the overall thing that I learned when I was traveling was that I could deal with anything, and I could cope with anything. I think, you know, you don't know the, 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 you know, the person you are unless you are prepared to test yourself and push yourself and and find out if you're broken down in the middle of a you know a desert and you know you've got half a liter of water and you've got nothing for hundreds and hundreds of miles you know the bus stops with you you have to sort it out you have to find out what's wrong with your bike and once you've managed to do that once then you don't kind of worry about it again I learned quite a lot about my bike before I went, but certainly during the trip with all the various things that happened, you know, say catching fire and having to rewire it and, and when I can't wield it in Australia. And so I did learn a lot and then when I came back I completely stripped her down, every single nut and bolt completely stripped her down and re-sprayed the frame and put it all back together again. When I got back from my trip in 84, I just packed all my photographs and diaries in a box, threw them in the back of a cupboard, which is where they stayed for 30 years. 1988, I found uh, a derelict uh, water tower and decided I wanted to convert it, to turn it into my home. So I spent the next seven years building. The tower was finished in about 94, 95, and uh, I, won, uh, I won five architectural awards for it. A year and a half ago, I got this email from um, this agent in Hollywood who wanted to buy the rights to my story to, to make a film. So it seemed a good opportunity to, to actually write a book. It would be great if my book can inspire people to travel and make people realise that they too can do anything. You know, I always say the hardest thing is actually leaving. Once you leave and you're on the road and you realise what an amazing uh, experience you're having, you, you know, all your fears and all your worries about doing the trip will just go. The trip completely changed my life and I would say it very much made me the person that I am now. I think I will always ride motorbikes. I mean, I, I was working out the other day, I've actually been riding bikes for over 40 years. <laughs> But I think I will always ride bikes. I can't imagine the day that I wouldn't be riding a motorbike.